Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, today I'm going to unbox a new tech round knife cutting machine, RSD-100 um, one of my most popular cutting machines, the other side RSD-100 is 110 volt, so they say you should do unboxings and so what, when, what do you do when you unbox it step by step so you get a blade, you unbox this. Uh, this is a cutting machine and 100 stands for 100 millimeter, which is about uh, each uh, 24 millimeter is one inch, let's say. So uh, something about four inch knife. And this is the cutting machine. Um, very very popular and uh, we had it for many many years this is the um, cloth cutting machine let me tell you what comes in the box you get the button you get the cutting machine you get the electrical cord okay and you get all the accessories right and I gotta see where is the. You get the owner's manual, some parts with, with it. And. Um, but we're gonna concentrate now on the machine. So, this is the machine that is made for cutting samples and up to uh, one and a half inch. The whole knife is 100 millimeter. That's why it's called RSD 100. It's made by NewTek. It plugs in to any uh, home, garage, business, factory, regular 110 volt out outlet. Um, uh, and it's one phase, it's very powerful. On and off switch, right here. And self sharpening. A lot of people call me and tell me, hey, David. Um, I need to buy a new knife after a couple of weeks. I'm like, no, you don't. You have to sharpen it. So they don't know there's a sharpener right here. This is the sharpener. Obviously, this is the machine. This is the plate. This is a machine that you need a flat surface to work with. It's not that like my small sample cutting machine that doesn't have a... This one, you actually need a flat surface. So you could run and use the uh, cut, right? To cut. Uh, let's see what comes with this. Um, you gotta be very, 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 very careful with the knives. You get a extra knife, um, painting brush. No, I'm just kidding. A oil brush, just to or cleaning brush maybe, just to clean the lint and stuff. A grease. I'm gonna tell you where this is gonna go. A screwdriver, an extra. Sharpening stone, couple of brushes, a key to open the knife. This is this key is a key to open the knife, right? It's very important. And you have couple of um, you have a L wrench, and I'm gonna tell you what is this. You're gonna need this. Did you know this? These are very important, right? All right. Very good. All right. So. Uh, when you get the, uh, do I don't want to open this. Should I open it up, or we have an extra one? Because I'm going to open it up. Should I open it up? I'm going to open it up. It's okay. I'm going to open this one up. Jesus, just it's a pain to open this thing up. It's so <laughs> hard. I mean, I'm telling you. Um, it's an unboxing. It's an unboxing video. So we have to show everything, right? So are you, so you open, and if you see all this white stuff, it's because it's been in the box. It's not, you know, there's nothing wrong to just get a cloth, a wipe or something and clean it up. It's not you. It's not me, it's not me, it has nothing to do with me. Um, so it's one. Of, this is one of the tools that you really, really, really you should have if you do, uh, manufacturing, if you do cutting, fabric, swatches, if type of quilting that you do um, for sample makers, you know, 
anything that has to do with cutting and sewing, you need one of these machines. And I am trying to fight this cable to open it up. And here we go. We did it. Yeah. This is where the cable goes, right? And this is about maybe uh, maybe four or five yards. Plugged into the any electricity, right? And turn on, right? Very simple. Now you see, you hear that sound, the noise on the bottom. This is actually the. See, I'm gonna just. You see, this is lower knife. This is the lower knife that actually grabs in the fabric, brings in the fabric, like the scissor. You know, like you have two scissors that work together to uh, cut the fabric. This you have a lower knife, and you have the rotary. So you have the stationary knife down here you have the rotary knife out here these are the wheels of the plate and this is actually the knife and sometime from time to time every couple of years you have to get to uh, change this another important fact here this is a fabric guard when you're cutting fabric this is a fabric or you call it a lint guard or fabric guard or thread guard that this piece here make sure that no thread goes inside the gear, right? And I'm gonna show all of these things for you. When you get the machine, when you plug it in, obviously you always wanna work this without, with unplugging and, you see this grease right here? You open it up and you open this hole with this side right here, and then you pump some grease in here. Tiny bitty, like a, uh, you know when you put brush, this, how much you have to put in your toothpaste? A, you put it here, you put it back in here, and then you turn it, not all the way, because if you put it all the way in, then the grease is gonna come out from here, and it's gonna go on your fabric when you cut. So, this is the grease, right here. Now, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna sharpen this thing. You see, turn it on, and then all, you see it turning? It's actually sharpening the the knife. All right. So here. So when you want to start sewing, when you want to when you want to start cutting the fabric, all you have to do is to get your fabric, line it up. It doesn't matter what type of uh, table it is, as long as it's a flat flat surface. You have to make. You could even do this on the on the floor, you could do this on the, uh, any place. When you do your cut, either it's a straight cut, or if it's a um, pattern, all you have to do, make sure you draw your pattern. Now, this is about maybe 16 layers of very heavy duty cotton denim fabric. And all you have to do, make sure this one goes underneath, underneath everything, if you still have more room. And then you bring this down, this is a finger guard. So make sure that you don't finger won't go here. Turn it on. And voila. See it? Done. Look at this cut. Beautiful. Look at this cut, this side. Right? Now, I'm gonna do double this just to show you guys. Come back up, right? Come down. Now, every time you could just sharpen, you just go and sharpen, right? Up and. If you wanna cut, if you have pattern. Look at that. That's how many layers of good white, give me a white dress. I want you to go back so they could see this right here. This is how much it cut. 
It's a very heavy duty denim fabric. And this is the result. So it doesn't matter. You could do chiffon, you could do uh, uh, jersey, you could do uh, very vinyl. Anything you have, this machine will cut for you. All right, now, again, these are right here. After a while, you might feel that the machine needs to be serviced. If you want to service the machine, always make sure unplug, turn off. You have two, these are a brush, um, place that the brush goes in there, the brush, there's two of them. If you want to take it out, you guys open this up. Oops, and this thing, just you see, it comes out. Put it back in, very simple, and you then you find you gotta find the cab though. I'm gonna find the cab right now. Okay, so this is fun. And then you could change these brushes. You have the extra brush here. If you want to um, change the sharpening stone or the knife, this is how we're gonna do it. This is the, that's why I'm actually doing this video. Take this out. You see. Open it up, put it on the side. Take this out. This place right here is for dropping a little bit of oil. Could be any type of oil. Any type of oil could go down there. A drop of oil. Is that you just push it up, push it up, and turn it. Okay? Now you want to open this. Opening this is very important. You gotta come to my side so you see how I'm doing it. You see this right here? This is gold inside here. I'm gonna make sure to turn it, and I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna just, I know how to turn this, so I'm gonna just go ahead. I'm gonna to try to turn this. You see this is the key. These two uh, male part go to these two notches right here, and Go down the bottom, and you could just, oh, it's gonna be tough now. Open, you see? Turn. When you take this knife out, make sure that the RSD, you see the RSD-100 here? And HSS, you take it out, bam. This is where the gear is. And this is obviously the knife. Pull it back down, right? You gotta make sure you just get a cloth, like what I'm doing right now, make sure you clean everything up, right? Clean it up, make sure everything is clean, like that. Clean it up. And now, get your new knife. So you see this one is a flat surface. Go ahead and open your knife. And I'm gonna tell you what this pin is right here. This is a flat, you don't want it, you see this one has edges. This one goes on the bottom, close up. You see these two notch right here, these two pins? This pin and this pin. This. There are four holes that they could be any place. Just make sure, before you put it in, make sure this blade has to go between here and here. You see that? You see? It gotta go between. Not on top of this, in between there, right? And then you just put it down and, you see, it fell into the place. Now, you have this one, you put this back on, you close this. Now, this is pretty tight, but if you see the knife is moving, you could put this in here and hold it. So with one hand, you turn this, and with one hand, you hold the knife. 
so the, the knife wouldn't rotate. I'm gonna just make sure. Now this is perfect. I'm gonna just before, I'm gonna put this back on, right in here. Now, if you want to change this one, this one counterclockwise will open. You just hold this, you just turn this, it will open, you change it with this one. You don't need to do anything else, you don't need to add anything, you just counterclockwise open it up. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on. And I'm gonna plug it in, and I'm gonna make sure it, but before I plug it in, I drop the cap, I'm gonna put on pause, I'm gonna find the cap and put it, put it on pause so I could find the cap and, all right, so this is the cap, I found the cap, it was on the floor, I didn't wanna take your time. Wanna make sure we got this part all right, right? This one, goes inside, and as it goes inside, you just get this one, and you close this. And you don't have to go all the way in, right? Make sure, that's it. Not very tight. I plug it back in, and we're gonna hope. I'm just kidding, it's gonna work. And then, just to hold it to see, to see, move things around. This is very important. You want to have that one on. Make sure that you have this on so you won't cut your hand, right? Voila! You got that? So this is another fine, fine, fine product from goldstartool.com, a new tech RST-100, uh, made for new tech actually, uh, for, I mean, made for gold star tool, RST-100, three and a half inch to four inch off knife. The space that it will cut is about this much, from here to here. You make sure after every time you're done, just go ahead and clean up, get rid of the lint, right here, especially in the back, right? Your tools are your life. These will make you money. You're gonna protect them, you're gonna clean them up, you're gonna make sure every day after you're done, just even do a blow, I mean, you know, one of those uh, air blowers or one of those uh, spray, uh, air spray, air cans, make sure they clean it up. And they're gonna, and if you wanna oil this one, a drop of oil. You just put it in that hole, you put it back up, you put it here, and you're good to go. Another fine product from New Tech. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, share, thumbs up, and have a golden day. Golden day. Thank you for watching.